All right, I am live again. Um, I'm going to, hey, what's up, Mary? I'm going to adjust something on my audio real quick. Give me one second. I knew it. I knew my gain had been bumped down. All right, I knew it. I was looking at my, I was listening to my VODs, and I was realizing that I was having to turn up my, uh, my, I was having to turn up my volume really high. Somehow my gain got bumped down. Um, I am doing well. I just woke up from an epic nap. I don't know if you can tell by looking at me. I'm having my first cup of coffee after my nap. But, uh, yeah, I'm feeling, uh, I'm feeling like a little bit like stew pickles. Whoa, hold on, wrong, wrong button. Wrong button. Hold on, I'm feeling a little bit like stew pickles. Here, oh, numlock, there it is. Stu, what are you doing? Making chocolate pudding. It's four o'clock in the morning. Why on earth are you making chocolate pudding? Because I've lost control of my life. That's how I'm feeling. But I'm waking up. But I'm waking up. All right, Metal Gear Solid 3 uh, Snake Eater HD edition from Master Collection. There's a lot of different labels on this game. Metal Gear Solid 3 Snake Eater slash Subsistence HD Edition version as part of the Master Collection. Um, good shit. Good shit. We got a Master Book. Oh, we got spoiler alerts. I like the Master Book. Look at all this. Look at all this shit. This is the world of Metal Gear and how it ties in with ours. Look at all this stuff. Look at all these games. Look at the world of Metal Gear Solid 3. Look at all this shit. Snake Eater, because he eats snakes. He's in the jungle. He has to survive in the jungle. Well, here, I'll show you right now. It's a good series. This one's called Snake Eater. You're in the jungle and you eat snakes. It's also the name of your mission. Oh, but he's not called Snake Eater. He's called Snake. He's just called Snake. Technically, his full code name in this one is Naked Snake because he gets because he goes in with no items or gear, he, weapons and equipment OSP, meaning on-site proc procurement. Yeah, I've already passed that one, but that isn't the game. Yeah, no, you play as Snake, not Snake Eater, but Snake, and you get a bunch of camo patterns and stuff. Uh, in fact, I'm gonna put on the infinity face paint. Yeah, and you get a bunch of different crazy uniforms. I'm gonna wear fire for starters, but I might switch that. Um, you get food, and as you can see, like, I eat snakes. Like, here's a Thai Cobra. It's not half bad. I'm gonna eat it. He goes, what can I say? It wasn't that great. But that's why it's called Snake Eater. Russian glow caps gone bad. I'm gonna dispose of them. My, if you don't play the game, if you if you save the game and you come back hours later, sometimes your food will spoil. And burst scorpion, I don't need it. Um, all right, everything else is fine. Backpack. Let's make sure we're good to go, which I think we are. I just need my Mo my Mosin. Yeah, I don't know. I've never been faced with the choice. Never been faced. I don't know. I've never used claymores on them, but maybe. Never been faced with a choice. Alright, let's see what I've got here. I think I'm going to be good. I don't, I'm not going to use the... Well, I might need that in the next area. Alright. Some of the things I do might seem kind of crazy. But there's a method to my madness. This is a stealth action series with a lot of story. It's very heavy on story. Uh, now, for my playthrough, we're skipping story. Ex unless there's some funny cutscenes we all want to watch. But I'm focusing more on the gameplay and survival. Actually, let me take fire back off. Uh, actually, a good one for me to wear might be Oscam. Yeah. Yeah, it's all good. I got a bandage and I got ointment. I'm going to shoot these barrels. I got burned. Now, the reason I did that is because now I can cure myself of my burns with some ointment. And now this will extend my health bar. 
Yeah, it's all good. I appreciate it. If you leave it alone, you don't, then you, you get another burn. Ointment. Bandage. Extend your health bar. Alright, now we're going to kind of stop, drop, and roll. There we go. Got a battery out here. Might seem crazy, you know, I can pick up this ointment. It's a lot of bats. I wonder if I use the stun grenade on all of them. Oh, yeah. That's a lot of bats. That's a lot of bats. No, that's a lot of damage! Alright. I do need to heal up quickly before I go into battle. Oh, uh, thank you. Yeah. See, now I've got a bunch of bats I can eat. They tasted bad, though. I like this PS2. I, lo I love the PS2 modeled animals. I think they're really cute. They're really low polygon, but there's something cute about them. That's the that's their bat. All right. The only thing I need to do is heal up real quick. This will give a good opportunity for people to join. Which one heals you up the fastest? I think it's Flectarn. No, DPM. Yep. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna heal up real quick. You can see. You can see my health bar right against the right against that beige brick wall. I'm gonna wait for that to heal up. But you gotta extend your health in this game if you want a fighting chance. Every time you sustain a serious injury and then you go into the survival viewer and heal yourself, it uh it extends your health bar, which doesn't make much sense. I guess maybe the idea is it toughens him up. I don't know. I don't know what the idea is there, but Every once in a while, when I have full health, I try to deliberately injure myself. Yeah. This playthrough, we're going for no kills, no alerts, and we have to catch and eat every animal, which reminds me, actually. I gotta pull up, um... I have two documents, locked and loaded. Plants and animals. And snake eyes. Uh, plants and animals. I think that I'm... Good to go, really. I just need to get the three snakes at the end. European rabbit. Maroon shark. I already got all that. Big eye. Trevally. Got all that. Got the, got all this. Oral luminescent. Got that. Got the parrot. That was a tough one. Got the Katai cobra. Got the emperor scorpion. Got the markor. Yeah, it's just the last three snakes at the end. So I'm good to go on that. Snake eyes. I have to wait for the torture sequence. Near the end of the torture scene... And after Ocelot shoots Snake's eye, Ocelot will start to leave the room. Hold R1 to look at the boss's face as he leaves. Alright, then we won't have another one for a while. Okay. Okay. Alright, I think my health's good enough. We're gonna take some we're gonna take some risks. Uh, I'm debating which outfit to wear. I'm gonna go with f uh, hmm. I have a few choices to make. I'm gonna go with fire. I need to get a sound bite of butt of Beavis and fire. All I've got is, uh... That's all I got. Alright, here we go. Alright, we're here we're gonna fight the Fury. The last surviving... Sons, or, or... The last surviving member of the Cobra unit. Unless you count the Sorrow. I don't count the Sorrow. Let's put on our night vision goggles. Um, okay. He's out there somewhere. I hear him. I know I don't have a very good... Okay, hold on. Here we go. Already... We got a good thing going. Ow. When he just comes at you, it's often best. Alright, here we go. Sometimes it's good to use the AP sense. That'll beep when they're near you. Alright, hold on. Let me switch back to night vision. The fire kind of makes it tough. 
Oh, there he is. Hold on. Let's get out the Mosin. Where are you hiding? There you go. Oh yeah. And he comes flying in like he's a fucking astronaut. Oh, look, look at this. I wonder if I can gas spray him. Ah oh, shit. Oh boy. Alright, I'm feeling the rage. He can hurt me, but he can't set me on fire when I'm wearing the fire costume. Fresh mushrooms, I'm gonna want those. I'm gonna eat a bat. I don't need this many bats. I'm gonna throw away one or two. Alright, I want the Russian glow caps. That, that worked out beautifully. Beautifully. Perfect angle. Perfect angle. Perfect angle there, too. Almost at full health. Oh, my God. That couldn't have gone better. That was a really good fight. All right, normally if you knock him out, his his camo will be here fire. This is a new game plus, so I already have it. But that was pretty that went that went very well. Disinfectant, bullets, suppressor, bandage, ointments full. All right. Got to have ointment in this world. I don't know if you know that or not. But I just want y'all to know that in this world, in this life, I wish to kind of a sp endow some wisdom on all of you. You want to have some ointment. And if you think that I'm wrong, I'm just going to say, don't, don't talk back. You need ointment. Wear the ointment. No, I'm just kidding. All right, here we go. Groznygrad, here we are. I'm gonna save here, because we have had no kills, no alerts. And we're doing well. We're gonna save. By the way, I know I've been taking a break from Resident Evil and playing Metal Gear. Tomorrow we're playing Code Veronica X for PlayStation 2. Pretty soon I'm also gonna be doing some multicasting on YouTube, now that that's allowed. It used to not be allowed. Like, if you were on, if you streaming on Twitch, the rule was, no, you weren't allowed to also stream on YouTube, or other places. That rule's changed, now that Twitch is under, like, new management. It's a new sheriff in town, and he's like, nah, it's straight. Bullshit, gotta be careful. Well, yeah, that was the old rule. Under the old rigid management. So... Yeah, from starting soon, I want to try to set up Chatty conveniently. I could use re Restream Bot. There's a lot of different tools out there, but uh, eventually I'm gonna just set it up so that I can just stream wherever, and people can watch from wherever. Yeah, can give you a boost in viewers and stuff. It's more convenient. All right. Alright, styptic. Alright, I wanted it. I like getting new items. I'm always greedy for more items. Oh, we got some items here. Disinfected. Bandages, yo. Alright, we're sneaking into this base. What's wrong? Oh, someone saw someone get dropped. I'm guessing it's out here. It is out here. Alright, hold on. Woo! Come in, HQ. I got him, but... Oh, jeez.
Jeez. I don't know where the support unit's gonna come from. I could be in a little bit of mild trouble here. And mild ain't how I take my burrito. If you know what I mean. Does your pistol have a silencer? Yes. But it wore off on that shot. You can see, like, right here. Whoop, 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 whoop. I have six silencers left. They wear off, though. But I don't think that's what... Hold on. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh. It's beeping because there's a dude nearby. When you get near a dude, it beeps. It goes beep. Beep. All right, we're going to be sneaky. When they start waking up, the amount of Zs start going away. They drop to two. Nothing unusual here. Who says who? I think there's some unusual shit here. I'm kind of stuck on this thing. There we go. Nothing unusual here. Says who? There he goes. He's going back. I don't mind him. I don't mind him. I don't mind him running away. Alright, I'm just looking. Oh! 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 Look at this. Look how close this guy is. Oh, Jesus. Got him! Woo! Let me give him a little shaky shake. You got any items? You can shake him for items. What you got? Nothing I... You got nothing I need. Alright, let's eat some crap. Let me eat the bat. Yeah. Uh, my Markor finally went bad. Alright, here we go. Alright, this is the way we're heading. Going this way. Look at me. Look at me sneak. Look at me sneak. Right in the head. Put him down. This is where you have to be careful. You can go boom. Now that, that'll if, if you get him in the head, it knocks him right out. Otherwise, you gotta wait. Oh shit! Got him. Yeah, it's just your imagination, idiot. There he goes. All right, there's gonna be another guy. Right around here. I don't know where he is. His absence is making me a little nervous. Let's get off of there. I don't like being so visible. Alright, I think I've been greedy enough for items. In we go. We're in the weapons wing, y'all. This is a very smart place to save. I am saving the game. Yes, I am. Chin up. Chin up. They're all about sneaking. Alright. Alright, I'm, I'm dressed up as a scientist. No one will recognize me. The only people that will recognize me are actual scientists, and they are in this building. They'll know I'm not one of them. But the guards don't know. The guards, we all look the same. They don't care. I also have to watch off for watch out for Rykov. Hold on. I'm gonna need my cigarette spray. Alright, hold on. 
Oh boy. It's a long way to carry that guy. Uh, let's see where all he's going. Look at me. I'm just I'm just chilling. Look at me. I'm just a scientist man. Hold on. Look at this. Just fixing my glasses. I'm a scientist. Yep. Nothing weird going on here. There's Rykov. I gotta be careful. I think he'll notice something's up. Oh, he he salutes he salutes the major. Alright, I gotta be careful. But I am trying to do something. Something serious. We talking some serious business. I wanna go in there. There's Rykov. Okay, I'm keep just keeping tabs on where he's going. Alright, here's what we're gonna do. You ready for this? Mary's like, oh, he went in there? Why'd he go in here? Alright, knocked him out. Now, we're taking him this way. This guy's got a uh, key card for. Ah! Wow, he didn't notice me. Alright, now they're both knocked out. Jesus. Yeah. Uh huh. Now I can sneak in here with him. Wow, I didn't know there was a dude in there. Alright, we got a secret weapon in here the scorpion. 32 caliber submachine gun. Alright, this can be a tough room. Okay, there's Rykov. Hold on, this could this might not be that bad. I don't know how fast he is to notice me. There he goes. Oh god, he'll notice me. Dirty magazine. Gimme. I don't want the scientist to wake up. Now, here's the hard part. I have to... Without getting arousing suspicion... Here's what I have to do. This part's crazy. Yeah, it is pretty cool. Uh, first off, I'm gonna eat something. Russian ration. He doesn't like the Russian rations. They're not very good. All right, whoa, 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 whoa. Camouflage. We're going to switch to... I'm going to actually try to hide here. Like, hide a little bit. Uh, oh, let's put on spider. Fuck it. Got him. All right, now... Spider brings your camo index up to 80%. But... It drains your stamina insanely fast. Now, that's that dude's taken down. I think that was my only dude that I was real worried about. The other guys are knocked out. So, we're just gonna go this way. Is there any guy... We're gonna keep our eyes... We're gonna look through the glass... Keep our eyes peeled for scientists, for soldiers. We're not trying to cause any problems here. I'm just trying to get this guy's clothes. Yes, it is. I don't think there's anyone in here. I don't have to go much further. I just gotta get him back to the locker room area. Yeah, we made it. Now I steal his clothes. Now I can disguise myself as this dude. <laughs> I wouldn't go quite that far. Although you're not far off. Alright, I don't think I can get any bonus stuff yet, but I already have it all. All right, here's what we're going to do now. We have a mask of this dude. We're going to put on the mask of him. Now we're going to put on his uniform. 
There. Now, look at me. I look just like him. Right next to Shoko Hamada. Here you get a sneak peek at the ultimate weapon, the Shagahod. Yeah, no one can tell the difference. They can't. Alright. Alright, this is where the game gets pretty fucked up. Sir. They don't know. Alright, we're gonna skip a few cutscenes, just because this is not a story playthrough, so I know some people are gonna be confused if they've never seen it. Like, huh? Like, what's going on? So you see, all I wanted... Here we go. Alright, this one shit goes down. Alright, I've got my I've got my disguise on. Major, what are you doing here? I've been waiting for you in my room. The controller rumbles every time. Is that the new greeting? I know the Major better than anyone else. I come here looking for Tatiana, and what should I find? But a greasy freebooter. Uh-oh. Whoa, down he goes. There's the boss. What is this fairy disguise? It's going to rub off on you. And then you'll lose sight of who you really are. Uh-oh. Stay out of this. Whoa. I see why they call you the boss. What was that? Some kind of judo? No, it's called CQC, a basic form of close quarters combat. He and I developed it together. Splendid. I'll take it. Alright, we can skip here. Yeah, let's go ahead and do a save. We're doing well. Now they got him captured. Tell me! Stop it! Who have you been talking to? He doesn't know what you're talking about. You'd better start talking. Please, stop this! <laughs> Who is Khrushchev's lapdog? How can you do this to him? I know you gave the data to someone. I never did that. You! That was Sokolov, the scientist. Now we're on to me. Now then, I hope you prove more entertaining than he was. But first, the 
Let's take a look at your body, shall we? Hmm. You've certainly seen your share of battle. What he says will depend on how much damage you've taken in the game. Consider yourself lucky. I am about to show you what hell is really like. Well then, let's get started. Here's a trick. Hold L2 or R2 the whole time. And you won't take any damage. Just kind of a trick. I don't know if it's a deliberate trick or an oversight. It's been this way in every version of the game. You hold L2 or R2. You won't. Normally your life's decreasing as he's beating the crap out of you. But it just gets stuck at the top. You're a tough one. But even you must have your limits. And I am a patient man. Alright, so. There's a hidden, uh. There's a hidden scene coming up. Where by holding R1. He's like the Emperor. Answer me. How much does the CIA know? They're after my legacy, aren't they? And this guy's like a total Bond villain giving away all the information, asking someone who doesn't know anything. <laughs> Oh, don't worry, he'll tell you. Yes, yes. Let yourself go. That's what I want to see. Yep, this game has a very James Bond theme from its setting, 1960s spy flick kind of setting. He's been trained not to break. Even the theme song's very James Bond. It's all about spies and gadgets. Admit it. We're after the location of the legacy. The secret fund established by the three great powers during the two world wars. There's the legacy. That's what you're looking for, isn't it? Basically a big fund of cash. One hundred billion dollars. Divided up and hidden all over the world. Now he knows. And you're looking for a record of where all that money is hidden, right? No matter. The Philosopher's Legacy is safely in my possession. In the underground vault of Groznikrat. <laughs> yeah, like he just literally tells you everything. On and on. this a transmitter who's responsible for this I am I planted it on him to keep track of his movements why so the Cobras could ambush him if they knew where he was gonna be they wouldn't have gotten themselves slaughtered Pains me to do this, boss, but under the circumstances, I'm afraid I must ask you to show me some proof that you and he were not in collusion. You don't trust me, is that it? Not that, but he is your apprentice. Look <laughs> how he backs up, he doesn't want to get flipped. Let's see. Cut out his eyes. I don't like those blue eyes of his. There's nothing more important to a soldier than his eyes. You made him a soldier, and now you will unmake him. Yes, it'll make for a touching display. He's all yours. Do it! 
Ruin him, just as he did the Cobras. No, not... I don't know that it ever does. I... I, I I don't know that it ever clarifies why Volgan's face is all fucked up. I assume it's tied into his weird electrical abilities. It's probably hidden in a call. If I were to call a bunch. Alright, somewhere around here. Not, not just yet. Stop! What is it, Tanya? He suffered enough. Well, well. Why are you protecting him? Smell. Tatiana, you're the spy. What are you talking about? I know that smell. Stop it. Take a fancy <laughs> tour, eh, Ocelot? No. I have no interest in this woman. I want to test her. I'll let this be the judge. Do as you like. Here we go. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. There goes his eye. That's how the bot sends up with an eye patch. Satisfied now. Well, that was refreshing. Come. Alright, right here. Right around here, there's going to be a hidden point of view where, if I look in first person view, right around here, here. I think this is it. I can see the boss leaving the room. That might have been it. No, because she hasn't so left yet. Survive the Colonel's torture, eh? Watching this has made me realize something. Yeah. <laughs> it's really not that bad. This is a prequel. Three is a prequel. It takes place the earliest in the series, 1964. You got lucky this time, Tatiana. This part seems kind of crazy. This is his former mentor. It might seem like, why the fuck does she do that? Which is giving him back his fake death pill. There we go. 14475. Yeah, I know. These games have a lot of supernatural, crazy, off-the-wall things. Alright, so from here I can skip forward. Now I'm in the cell. Um, so I've got a transmitter, and... Uh, you can hear the transmitter if you listen. Beep, beep. This is where Ocelot hit me in the back. And this is where the boss shot me in the thigh. Uh, hold on. Let me grab my fork. Fork! Alright, so, one thing I can do... 
I want to eat this rat. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Johnny. Got it. All right, eat the rat. Cure. Fork. All right, transmitter's gone. Got my fake death pill. Johnny gave me a vampire bat. Not my favorite meal, but I'll eat it. A lot of different ways to escape the prison cell. It's a bunch of different ways. First thing I'm actually going to do is save. Because we're trying, like I said, we're trying to be really careful. No kills, no alerts, and they don't make it easy. Snake. Then they have a long combo here. Now I can do a bunch of different things. I can try to smooth talk Johnny. I can give Johnny food. I can make Johnny sick. I can play dead. Yep. I can wait for him to get diarrhea. Which he will. Now if he goes off that way. All right, I've got a, I've got a save. I'm gonna see if I can go ahead and do it. One four four seven five is the frequency. Oops. Door's been unlocked. Now I don't think Johnny will notice. I have to be careful of where he goes. I don't think he'll come in here. <gasps> huh? Ah, I gotta restart it. That's an alert. Knocked him out. Here's the room I was in, though. Nothing in here but a bunch of blood. And then here's the bathroom where Johnny goes to take a crap. And then here we get a little room. We get a we get a babe here. And a bunch of medical supplies. And a game informer. No, a gamer magazine. Alright, but I do have to restart because I got spotted. Can't have that. Return to title screen. All right, I'm going to go refill my coffee in just a moment. Ah. Yeah, at least I kicked his ass, I agree. That's Johnny, he's kind of the butt of every joke. No nightmare scene to sit through in this one. Alright, hold on. Which in this case is actually a little bit convenient, although it... Bad, I'm trying to eat this... Uh, 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 you get the most stamina back by eating this rat. You're just wasting your energy. I'm, I'm gonna get this rat, Johnny. Johnny's actually pretty nice. I always feel bad about hurting him. There, now I ate it. Cure. Whoop, whoop. And then I'm gonna eat the bat. No good. No good. I am wondering. I'm just gonna try it. I have a save here. 144.75. I'm just gonna try it. He didn't see me. I'm out of here. That was pretty quick. He noticed something was up, but it doesn't, doesn't matter. Alright, now I'm saving here. In each area you can save. Each new area. Alright, now there's going to be a bunch of dudes. 
And I don't have much camo. There is a box I can get off in the corner, but how useful is it? And I can't do any kills. I can't do much CQC with my fork. And I ain't got nothing. There's some smoke grenades. I'm in a really bad spot. There he is. Hold on. I'm gonna try. You can't crawl very fast. Uh, someone's... Ah! This is gonna be a hard part. So if I were to run... I gotta restart this one, but if I were to run over here... I can't get any alerts. If I were to run over here... Got a dude here. There is a box. So I can do this. You can hide in the box. box didn't work. Oh, no. Oh, they guarded... They guarded my fork with their shield. Aren't there bullets for this thing around here? This stupid gun I have. Ow! Now I'm hurt. It's over here. This might be a good direction for me to go, actually, to slip through there. Ow. Alright, unfortunately I gotta restart. This is one of the hardest areas because you have no camo. Like, you're, you're escaping from a, from a jail cell, you have no camo, got one eye, you're all bloodied and bashed. It ain't good. Yeah, and it's a big area, and you have to be really sneaky, and it's not easy. So there is going to be a little loading, reloading going on around here. But first, they're going to be a little pausing. They're going to be a little pausing, and they're going to be a little me getting coffee. I will be right back. I'm going to run a couple ads, and I will be right back.
I'm back and I dropped my controller. I'm back and I dropped my controller. It has fallen and I can't get get up. Uh, now I'm, I'm good. All right, I got some coffee and I did got some. I got my laundry in the dryer. Uh, what's up, A Rock? How's it going? Welcome, welcome to Metal Gear Solid Three. I'm at a very difficult part where I have to be really sneaky. But it ain't always easy to be sneaky in this world. That's what I used to learn from A-Rock. Ah! Already? Really? I gotta restart it. This I hate this part. I'm going for no alerts, no kills, no nothing. Which means every time I'm, I'm alerted, I have to restart. And unfortunately, you have to sit through these, these unskippable company logos. Which I, I wish they would make these skippable. But HD edition is just so untouched. And I don't have any camo because I I'm just escaped from uh, Johnny Sasaki's jail cell. At least it loads faster and everything. Alright, here we go. Alright, so... I think going that way is going to be a mistake. Going this way... This guy's going to turn this way. It's like... Now, depending on what way this guy is facing, I might be able to go this way. I need to keep an eye on this, this dude right here. It's all going to depend on him. Oh! No one. No one was here. It wasn't anything. But he's going to come back here. Which is going to make this tough. Oh, thanks, A-Rock. I'm glad you have faith in me. Nobody here. Nobody there. Nobody here. Right, here we go. What? Why does he do that? Bah. Huh? Whoa! Who that? Why does he always go over those? This is tricky. I'm going quick. It's risky. Holy hell. Well, I can't kill anyone. I can't kill anyone. We're going for no kills as well. Now I can definitely save here. I can save I can save as much as I want. And I can save at the beginning of each new area. I can save as much as I want. I can save at the beginning of every new area. So now I've got a new checkpoint. But I've got no... I'm, I'm escaping from a prison cell. So what I've got is nothing. I've got a fork. I've got a gun with no bullets that I can't use because I can't kill anyone. No items but a fake death pill and a cigar. Alright, every once in a while I'm going to look at my map. I have to get over one more to the west. I don't have an AP sensor. I don't have any gadgets. AP sensor would be a big deal. I don't see anyone. There's that guy. My camo index when I'm crawling is at 15%. He, damn it, he can kind of see me. Hold on, I'm going to try. I'm going to try to outrun this guy. Who is that? He's going to come this way. He's coming this way, but I'm, I can kind of outrun him, sort of. Holy hell! Okay, we're doing well. Alright, we're going to save again. This is our last area. We have to be really careful. We have to be really careful. We have to look out for any items that could help. Watch out for spotlights. Watch out for dudes. Watch out for dogs. Look at us. We got a fresh save, and that's good. Might be able to use some smoke grenades or something if we can find them. Bandage. Bandages. We don't need no stinking bandages. Okay, they're all facing away from me. 
I don't know why I'm really going after this ration. But I want it, damn it. Alright. There's a dog. You have to be careful with the dogs. I might even, uh, here. Beat that. God damn it. Hoping he eats that ration. There's a dude right there. Gotta be careful. I don't know what that dog's doing. I don't know if he's eating the ration or if he's. He is! Is that, is that dude? Look at him. I can see his boot! I can see his boot. I want him to turn around. Look at him. He turned around. <gasps> These medical supplies are great and all, but I need I need better things. I need better things in this world. This might not be our best attempt. Let's watch out for the spotlight. These are bullets. I'm gonna grab them, but I can't shoot. I can't really use them. Nothing there. All right, there's dudes over here, and there's a the dogs are sleeping. We have to be careful. It's an old expression A Rock used to always tell me. Growing up, I'll never forget it. He'd say to me, Drew, sometimes you gotta let sleeping dogs lie, my man. And I'd be like, wow. Oh, oh, oh! I'd be like, A Rock, that was profound. And he'd go, right? Sometimes you can do this, too. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Sometimes that's not helpful. Oh, God. Hold on. He's gonna be like, hmm. Nobody here. I don't know which way he's gonna turn or win. That'd be nice. If I could kill- if I could get an- Ah! Well he- oh jeez, I'm trying to- oh god. Ah! He saw me. I have to restart it. it. Sucks. At least we have a save in that room, but they do not make that part easy. They don't make that part easy. Oh boy. Okay. I might go brazen this time. I'm just going to try one just real balls to the wall. No, let's not do this. I'm already being way too risky. I was thinking like one attempt where I just run for it. Where I head for the hills. Alright, he won't see me under here. Look at him. Look at that idiot. Look at that dummy. Now I wish I had something to knock him out with, believe me. But I don't. Look at him! Yeah, there's nobody there. Dumbass. I don't know why you were even looking. I don't want to get spotted by I can't get spotted by that searchlight. Crawling like this only gets me to fifteen percent. That ain't high.
Okay. Ain't no one around, just that one guy. <gasps> ah! That idiot saw me. God, I hate this part so much. And then I got cut. And then they cut me. They cut me. Yeah, they cut me like cheese. Okay, hold on. I'm gonna be a little crazy. I'm just being a little crazy. Times don't mind me. I'm just looking for any any gear that might help. Metal gear or not. This ration could help. I could throw it at a soldier. I don't know how hungry he is. Alright, they're both they're both facing that way. Which means I'm going this way. Might be being a little crazy here. Pretty soon they're gonna stop. And they're gonna turn around. Ah! But I'm gonna be under this tank when they do. I have bullets, but I mean, that's gonna give me an alert if I make any noise with it. Will he look my way? Will he look my way? All right. Here's where I have to be careful. There's a dude back there. I see him. Dog's asleep. Ah! God, fuck. I swear I used to be better at this. Ah! Alright, we're gonna try again. Turn the title screen. Konami. Ah, oh, this is tough. I know there's some smoke grenades, smoke grenades somewhere out here. I should have maybe. It would throw me in caution, but caution's fine. I'm, it might even be worth going back looking for them, even though it's a, it's a risk. It's a risk any way you slice it. First time I went too crazy here. I see them both. I can go like this. I, I wish I could shoot that light out, but then they'll hear it. They'll all hear it. I wish I had something to knock these guys out with. that dog. There's that dude. Yeah. Yeah. I just I wish I had some sort of God damn it. Some sort of something. Alright, he's turning back around. That's good. That just leaves me with this gentleman here. Well, let's just let's just stay low. Let's keep an eye on what this fool's doing. I need to wait for him to turn around. I hope I'm not spotted by a dude over here. Oh, he's going this way? Really? Try.
The dog is asleep over there, which is good. I don't want that guy in the distance to see me. I think I'm away from the searchlight. I don't know if I'll be any better over here in the dark. I can't wake up this dog. 20 percent's the best I can do. God damn it, he sees something. I can't shoot him. I can't get an alert. All I can do is go back. Oh no. Go! Yeah, he's just seeing things. Just seeing things. He's back to normal walking. This sucks. I don't know how much this counts as like a barricade. I don't know if he can see through this thing. That one guy going all the way back there. Okay, hold on. This could be my break. I don't know how much he's going to turn his head my way. Ah! I have to go this way. I don't have a choice. No choice. Please don't come up the stairs. Fuck, dude. Radio. Where's our that sucks. Let me check over here so I can get an idea as if there's anything around here that could help. Um, just for a future playthrough. Like, if I could somehow get myself over here. Are there smoke grenades? Grenades, smoke grenades. I mean, okay. that could, All of that could potentially be helpful. The smoke grenades, mainly. Alright. Anything underneath that truck? No. Oh boy. This is just a really, really tough part of the game. I'm going to try to go back, even though it's risky, and just see, uh, even if I'm putting myself at risk, which I, am, of course, am, seeing if there's anything useful back here. I might even get spotted on purpose, so I'll at least know. I'm going to do it. Just so I can at least know, like, is there a smoke grenade in this area? Is there a stun grenade? Is there anything worth coming back for? What do we have here? That's a grenade that's not going to do me any good. Smoke grenade would be helpful, but how am I going to get around all those dudes to get one to get one smoke grenade? Over here, I'm pretty sure it's just food. This is a food one, I'm quite sure. Now I do wonder if this might be a lot more useful. But I have to get back there is the, pro is the trick. Whoops. And can I get back there with like a smoke grenade or something intact? It's tough. It's not an easy part of the game. It's on hard. Can't get spotted. Can't kill anyone. I can knock people out, but this game's weird. Like you can't put them in the chokehold like you could like you can the other ones unless you have a CQC item. The game's kind of rigid and weird about that. Alright. I just, I, I'm not, I'm, I'm just genuinely not sure what to do. If there are more things, I could slide under over here, but we got a spotlight coming up, we got dudes. I'm pretty sure if that sees you, you're just toast. It's at least not super strict. 
in terms of its hitbox. Don't want that guy to look right and see me. No vision cones in this one. You just gotta use your wits. And your mitts. Ooh, hold on, let's be careful here. Let's see if I can get a better look at the guy over there. There he is. There's two dudes. Right there. Alright. I see that guy's boots. I could be crazy and try to, like, knock this dude around here. Ugh, that might be so stupidly crazy. Huh? It just might work, though. What was that noise? Jeez. There's nobody here. It's the best I can do. Huh? Fuck, dude. Sometimes I hate this game. Alright, return to title screen. Once I get past this part, the rest of it's in the bag. The rest of it's easy in terms of stealth. Oi, oi, oi. What would happen? I know I'm being ridiculous. It's an experiment. It's an experiment. Holy shit. Could we be onto something here? Nobody here, that's right. Holy shit. I, I just hope this guy doesn't stop and turn around. If he, if he heads to the left, I can kind of like get up against this wall and hope this dog doesn't wake up. Holy hell, no way. Oh my god. Just don't turn back around, dude. Just keep head to the left, loop around. No way, dude. No way we're gonna do it. Oh, hell yeah. Oh, that's a tricky, tricky part. Holy hell, but we did it. Oh, that's one of the hardest stealth parts in the game. Alright. Whew. It's crazy.
I'm definitely saving here. I never want to do that part again. <laughs> that was crazy. Alright. Just looking for anything that might be helpful. Alright, hold on. Hold on. There. We're full health. Stamina. There. Full stamina. Let's go. Now, there's going to be dogs here, but they'll bark at me, but that won't be an alert. They're just looking for me. Whoa. God, this happens sometimes. to have. Dogs are here, but that's fine. That's fine. There we go. All right. Going to skip this part. Skip this. Here we got the sorrow. We're going to take the fake death. Oh, you can't take it? Oh, I thought you could take it. All right, we'll just get to the end. I haven't killed anyone, so there should be no one in this sequence except the bosses. The only unusual ghost we should come across, other than the sorrow is uh, the end's parrot. There we get the fear. Here we go. We got the end. The parrot should be a yeah, ghost, kind of a ghost silhouette, because since I killed it, I ate it this playthrough. Otherwise, it's just alive in the in this dream sequence. And we got the fury. Oh shit! It's always scary. I mean, that scared the shit out of me the very first time when I played this on PS2. Alright, up here he'll be dead. No dead bodies, haven't killed anyone. Just a bunch of dead fish. There's the Sorrow's body, real body. Right by his spirit. There we go. Snake 
is dead. I remember the first time I did this, I was thinking, what did I do wrong? Alright, here we go. Alright, I removed the transmitter, so we don't have to worry about that. Alright, here we go. Pretty sure I have everything. Pretty sure we've gotten everything except for the last two... The, uh, the last two... Or the last three snakes during the boss fight. But we'll, we'll go ahead and make sure. Grab a few supplies. Can't hurt to have them. Give a quick look around here. Get some more core food. Alright, we already got the face paint. Uh, we, we'll grab the Suchinoko back. Why not? Or I actually am wondering, since I already have the Infinity Face Paint, I don't want to risk getting a rank other than Markor. So I actually am wondering if I should just eat it. Or leave it behind. I've already caught it. Don't need it. I always thought this area looked really beautiful. This game has a really varied color palette. Menu full, oh shit. Alright. Alright. Save, yeah. The rest I should be able to tear through pretty easily. The Shago Do you All right. Disinfect it. Suppressor. We'll head back out temporarily. The Suchinoko is just going to be chilling right by me. But I already have the Infinity Face Paint. There it is. I'm just going to go ahead and eat it. By the way, we need to go through my entire here splitter. We're going to be going back to Grozny Grad. Um, we'll put on splitter for now. Uh, backpack. Don't need the life medicine. Don't need the cigar. We'll get out thermal goggles. Um, AP sensor. It's really all that I need. Put away the fork. Put away the cigarette spray. Put away all the bullshit. There. Handkerchief. Yep. Yep. And we'll need the C3. That's about it. We should be good to go. Stamina. Cure. Okay. Alright, no need to waste any suppressor. We're gonna go ahead and kill the Suchinoko. Got it back again. R Suchinoko? Does it always say R? Huh. Okay. Good to go on C Med. Pretty sure we have just about everything. I'd like to make sure. Birds here, I think, are just magpies. Bird E. Okay, those, yep. Alright, we should be good. Let's move on. I think we have everything except the three final snakes. We'll have to remember the snake eye cutscenes that were missing. It's not too many. We've got all the different types of fish. I'd like to make sure. Fish B. So more than one at C. Alright. Better safe than sorry. It would suck to beat this game missing one food or one plant. Alright. I'm gonna run on through here. We missed box B, but no big deal. We don't need all the we already got all the items. 
which I don't even think this version has a achievement for. We of course have all the bats. Well, there's only one, but we got the rat suppressor. Good to go on that. This is good against Volgan. I'll go ahead and throw something away. R1. I don't need all of these. Okay. I actually have an idea. There's no sense at this point in not extending my health bar a little bit. Trying to get a burn going. There it is. Last few fights are going to be tough. go. Cure. Bandage. Ointment. There we go. Extend the health bar a little bit. Sure, we'll grab box B. Why not? Sure, we'll grab a ration. Alright, good to go on anything else. Alright, we'll climb up here and then we'll do our next save as soon as we get up here. Sneak down, and uh, we will call in. Get our next save going here. Okay. All right. So let's see if we got anything. We have every face paint and camo. Let's see if we have anything better than Splitter. Well, we got Spider. Kind of feel like fuck it, why not? Refilling stamina is easy. We got a bunch of food. We know exactly where we are. Food, we'll eat something good. Don't I have, didn't I get, didn't I just get, oh, that's, oh, instant noodles, there they are. All right, now go back into food. More core. Hey, this works. Good shit. Now, we're going to dress up as scientist again. No face paint. Scientist garb. No sense in not doing a save. We're kind of at the final stretch here. No 
paint scientists. Let's go ahead and eat a little something. Tasty. Uh, we'll need medical supplies. So I'll just take a quick pop in here. I think I'm good on most stuff. Alright. Very good. Basically, there's a scientist in here. I have to be careful. I don't want the soldiers noticing me doing that. Let's get out of here. There are books, but I have infinity face paint. Alright, now we already have the sneaking suit, but one of these has the maintenance uniform, which will come in handy. You don't get to carry that over in New Game Plus. There it is. Sneaking suit I already have. quick. No face paint, but we're going to switch to maintenance. Maintenance, no paint. We have the C3 out. We're going to come forward a little bit. Let's go ahead and do a save in here. Whoops. The only thing I'm a little concerned about is my health going into this fight against Volgan. I do have... Here, I want to be careful. I don't want this guy to see me. And I am healing slowly. It's my only concern right now, but I think we'll be alright. Because I can't kill Volgan. Gotta knock him out. So we might hit a point where we have to... be a little extra careful. See this? I see the maintenance dude. There's another one. If I get under here and I just rest up a bit, I still have to be careful that they don't see me crawling out. I did just save it. Ah, let's see. We'll top off my health or my stamina. We'll wait a moment. Going into Volgan with full health is ideal. Alright, let me overview real quick the Snake Eye Trophy achievements. We got this one. We got this one. So we'll go ahead and delete that. Groznygrad Rail Bridge. After destroying the Shagahod, Volgan will summon a storm and set himself on fire. Press R1 after that to see the sorrow. The rest are post game. Okay. Okay. I think I got them all. That shouldn't be too much problem. Wouldn't be too much trouble. Uh, I actually, if I'm gonna do this, I should probably put on a sneaking suit. Reduces stamina consumption. Doesn't make you heal faster. Although I think Oscam does that. No. Flectarn. I always fuck. No. DPM. All right. DPM doubles recovery rate. This won't take long. I just want to go into Volgan fight on hard mode with a little extra life. 
And I don't want to waste my life medicine, although I actually probably should go ahead and get it handy. I've got five out of five. That's good. I want to save them for the boss if needed. All right. Um, also, Russian glow caps can be good against against uh, Volgan. All right. We're not going to need to get it all the way up. I just I don't want to go in with with it as low as it was. All right. There it is. All right. Moving on. We're gonna skip the cutscenes. Not a story playthrough. I'll save each save where I that I'm offered. I'll take. Where I haven't fucked anything up. Yeah, 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 yeah. Here we are. Alright. I think the best thing to do is to gonna be to put on the sneaking suit against him. We can always fuck with him as Raiden. But we won't do that just yet. Alright, hold on. No need for suppressors. I should put on Infinity Face Paint. There's no point not to. And we do have to use bonus items to get more core rank. Otherwise, with no kills and no alerts, we'll get a different rank. First phase down. We did we did good. Didn't take any damage. Alright. Ah shit. Let's heal this. It will extend our health. Glow cap helps with that and attracts the electricity. Oh, God, he picked me out. Nope. Nice. Here we go. Ooh, gotta be careful. All right, hold on. If I'm quick, oh, if you're if you're quick with the handkerchief, you can wipe his butt. All right, all right. MK22, we got everything. Infinity face paint sneaking suit. I think that's the best way to go. Let's get a let's get a save going just in case something crazy happens. But I think we're good. We have all of our life medicine. We can save for the boss if needed. Oh, we need to have our rocket launcher out. If not for now, then for later. Um. 
that away. We'll need both of these. We'll need the rocket launcher. I've got to unequip something. Don't need the white phosphorus grenade. Don't need the C3 anymore. We'll need the books later. All right. Everything else, I think we're good. Okay. Not going to worry about the Shagahod. Just going to knock dudes out with the dart gun. No kills. There'll be a few challenging moments, but nothing too crazy. Snake and Eva both have full health. I did pretty good on health, too, in terms of injuries. For all the criticism of Master Collection, it is nice playing these types of sequences without a ton of frame rate drops. PS2 ran really poorly, PS3 ran poorly, 360 wasn't perfect. Playing the 360 version on a more modern Xbox gave you pretty good results, but it wasn't always 100%. Playing on PS5 is like butter, loads fast. I just wish they would like fix some more of these glitches and increase the resolution, which I think they definitely could do. But, I don't know. Not as dreadfully horrible as some people make it out to be. There are certain channels you'll only, you'll only hear the negatives about this collection. Like I said, not that it's perfect. I'm not shooting the Shagahod because I don't want to accidentally... Oh, nice! That was a good long-range shot. I don't want to accidentally kill someone. It doesn't really matter at this point in the game. I'm trying to get him. Ah. Ah, whatever. Good enough. Alright, Grozny Grad Runway. In reality, this would probably kill some dudes, but they don't count as kills if you hit them with a dart.
Alright, still don't want to kill anyone. Wait until everyone's out of here. And then once everyone's gone, then. Time for this. I want to hit anyone, but I don't think anyone's pursuing me at this point. All right, rail bridge. Then we have to shoot this thing out. No problem. Three charges. It's one. All right, one more. Extra glitch there. There it is. Easy. All right. So, phase one fight here with the Shagahod. Like, what? go. Alright, phase two. Whoops, what am I doing? Alright, here we go. Actually, I think I can just do this. Okay, hold on. Ugh. Look at that. I love the what have you done? Nice. Like it starts to rain. Shit. It'd be quick. There it is. All right, this next cutscene I have to watch. Uh, there's going to be a hidden sequence here. 
that I have to get for the Snake Eyes trophy. Now, all throughout the game up until this p part, every time it rains, Volgan says, Kuabara, Kuabara. Which is, I don't know exactly what that translates to, but it's kind of a superstitious saying to ward off lightning. Because obviously he attracts electricity. This is the one part of the game, it's raining out, where he doesn't say it. Instead he says, who's afraid of a little thunder? Uh, who's afraid of a little thunder? He doesn't say his chant. And he finally gets done in for. I have to hold R1 to get a hidden hidden shot of the sorrow which is going to count towards one of the trophies I'm going towards one of these will show the sorrow though at some point Make sure we got it all. I like how it's almost like fireworks. Kuabara means mulberry field. According to Chinese legend, mulberry trees cannot be struck by lightning. Saying Kuabara twice is supposed to ward off lightning bolts. It is also sometimes spoken as a means of warding off ghosts in Japan. There you go. Yep, and so the one time he doesn't say it, ends up doing him in. I don't expect anything to go wrong here, but I am going to save just to be on the safe side. We've done everything else. We should get everything this playthrough. By the time I beat this run, which we're coming up on, I should only have two trophies left. One for getting all 64 Keratin Frogs, and one for uh, achieving big boss rank, which I think I have to play on Extreme in addition to a bunch of other criteria. So there'll only be two, two, trophy, two trophies left for the PS5 version. But I always thought that scene was kind of a cool touch. Because he says it throughout the game every time it rains. This part, these sequences are going to be annoying when I'm going for all carrots and frogs. They just, they're just going to be annoying. Period. I'll go ahead and get a save here. Just because I know that I haven't accidentally killed anyone. I don't want to fuck up somehow. And hit someone, accidentally hit like, I don't know, an explosive barrel or something. Quite sure I can still, you can knock out anyone even though they're going to crash and explode. As long as you knock them out with a dart, it does not count as a kill, is my understanding. Even though, really, they totally would die. It's more dependent, dependent on how Snake kills them. Like, that dude would be dead. 
the crash into the tree didn't kill him, then the explosion would. He'd certainly be very hurt. But very hurt doesn't matter, you just can't kill him. Ah, stop. Stop shooting me. Dude, get off. Alright, here comes the log. I have to be careful. I don't want to accidentally hit anyone. Good. Don't think I hit anyone with that. We'll see how I would have. Alright. Lazarevo North! See him. Play that guy in Pulp Fiction, played by Eric Stoltz. I can hear it. Stake left. All right, we healing up. We healing up. Quite a ridiculously insane finale of this game. I do think that the back end of this game is packed a little too tight. Uh, here we go. Whoa! I love the game, but it's just a lot at the very end. You fight Volgan, you do a bunch of bike chases. You fight two phases of Volgan again, you do a bunch of bike chases. You have an escort thing with Eva through the woods. You, uh, I mean, it's just packed. You fight the boss, you're on the wig. It's just non-stop. A lot of it's really good, and a lot of the story in between, very good, but... Aye, aye, aye. Alright, bone fractured. Alright, Eva, let's see, let's see how you're, you're doing, girl. There we go. Alright, she's good. Now, I'm gonna give her a little grub. Um, this tastes like crap. Yeah, yeah. All right. Uh, I'm gonna put on woodland, and I think my a good general one here is our is our is our good friend Flectarn. But we'll we'll mess around with it. Maybe actually, I think snake tends to work. Spirit and snake tend to work pretty well in this final area. But we'll mess around with it as needed. Um, no sense in... Let's put the RPG away. It's just going to be more senseless weight. Don't need the sniper rifle anymore. The book we're going to use a bunch of. Actually, speaking of which, let's switch to the Infinity Face Paint. Infinity Face Paint. I know, I know. Grab everything we need. All right, Eva. Come this way. Alright. And we are gonna do a save here. Save. Thanks. Uh I actually don't know about spirit here. Hey, what's up Simba? How you doing? Welcome to the stream. Hope you're well. Let's 
kick this. Let's kick the snake. We got a few more things left Please to do. Come again. Oh, we got a new follow. Thank you for joining the archives. I'm gonna start leaving these books because I don't want these soldiers coming in thinking they're gonna ruin our day. Come on, Eva. All right, we're gonna stop right here. Actually, let's see. What, let's see if we have a better camo for here. Uh, spirit's pretty good here. Spider, of course, but that's gonna drain our stamina. I'm gonna leave the. All right, we're just gonna keep this going. Yeah, uh, Simba, I'm doing a no kills, no alerts. Um playthrough of this game. Yeah, they're all getting distracted. Waiting for MGS Delta. Yeah, me too. That'll be really interesting. It, it looks really good. Yeah, no kills, no alerts, every animal, um, every plant. Playing this on PS5, so going for some of the tr new trophies. Dirty magazines definitely come in handy. I think we're going right here. Yep. This is about a new game plus. I've beaten it once. Alright, so what I'm going to do, before we go into the new area, whoops. Oh, that, that triggers the cutscene. Okay, that's fine. Alright, new area. Now, the one thing that does make this easier is that you can save after each new area, and if you fuck up, you can reload. So, saves are not limited. You can save as much as you want. I'm playing on hard, by the way. Alright, we're gonna pause for a moment, and we're going to feed Eva something good. Can I have seconds? Yeah, she liked it. There we go. Um, the snake's doing pretty good. Alright, so I know there's gonna be dudes. You can see them everywhere. Let's get camoed up better. We're camoed up pretty damn bad right now. Alright. I'm in the leaves. Put the suppressor on. You can get cautions. You just can't get alerts. There's one. What's wrong? What's wrong? Okay. When you hear him saying what's wrong, they will be approaching someone. There we go. There's one of them. All right, put the suppressor back on. Uh, AP sensor useful for an area like this. And now that we're back in sort of the brown, earthy area, let's switch our camo again. Spirit. And because we could be being followed, we're going to leave books. Make sure Eva's following me. She is. Uh, actually, I let me just to have it handy. Let me get my handgun back out. Okay. Oops, wrong button. She's behind me. Can't get too far from her. I'm not going to go this way. Just grabbing this. Eventually, another playthrough I have to do is getting all those damn frogs. That one's going to be tough. Eva. 
Eva likes the this snake here. I'm gonna keep those going. She right behind me. All right. All right. There's dudes coming up. I'm gonna get low. Uh huh. Okay. Now here. Got him. There's another dude right here. Okay, he'll be he'll be going down any moment now. Hold on, here he is. Nope, don't you wake him up. Alright, got him good. See this guy's head right here. I think it's possible I got them all. Let's not be too... There he is, there's one. Just in case dudes start coming up, having the books here is handy. If you're ever playing without infinity face paint, this is a good place to save the books for. All right, we made it. All right, now skip this, skip this. We're not—it's not a story playthrough, so we're not doing cutscenes, except for a few where we have to get a few of the optional trophy stuff. Let's see what you're made of. Oh boy! All right, it's kind of—that's a pretty good way to start things off. All right, we're going to take a quick look here. Uh, I'm going to keep Infinity Face Paint on. We're going to switch to Snow so we can stay hidden. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, Scientist is actually better, but I can't use my weapons in that one. <laughs> so, okay. Uh, all right, Backpack. Uh, we are going to be looking for... There's three snakes hidden in this area. We don't need the bug juice. There's three snakes hidden in this area, which we need. Um, I'll keep that. I'll keep the stun grenade. Smoke grenade. Oh, we gotta unequip something. We don't need the books. You're not gonna fall for that. Smoke grenade. Alright. Uh, let's take a look at our food real quick. Let's just keep this maxed out. Alright. We're gonna have three snakes. They're usually near logs. So, there's yeah, there's one. Snake Eye. This one is L Liquid Snake. There it is right there. There's going to be Solid and Solidus Snake in this field too. And this one doesn't count. I think this one's just a green python snake. But we'll make sure. We'll be thorough, making sure we got everything. Yeah, well, I'm not hiding that, that much. Here we go. Now, the hope is that after, when I hit this third snake, we'll see a trophy pop up for getting all the snakes in the game. Uh, if not, then I missed one this playthrough. There you are. Get ready. Uh. Ow, ooh, she got me with a good cut. Uh, good to heal these up right away. Every time you heal in this game, it does extend your maximum health. All right, so we're gonna use our thermal goggles, and we're looking for another snake. They're always there's one. She doesn't seem to see me. Hey, charmer, got them all. All right, we did good. Now, with it, with a little luck, I think we got every other animal in this game. I think we're good. Where is she? 
Sometimes it's better just to look. There she is. Thank you. I still think this area looks really good. Oh. So far, this is one of my better fights against her. I, I oftentimes kind of mess this one up. Never really use smoke grenades against her. There it is. So when, when you get into CQC, I always find just button mashing my way out of it. Tends to be the best strategy. Ooh, there we go. Let's get that out of there. It would be cool to have a playthrough where I don't use any life medicine. Oftentimes, I end up using some on the boss. Oh, shit. Uh-oh. Oh, God! That was quite a flip. Oh, God! Ow. See, she can start to really kind of... She can start to hurt you. Alright, cure. Bone fracture. Boom. Boom. Alright, knocked her down. Let's uh, hit her a few times with this. Alright. Thank you. Ow. All right, she doesn't know where I am. She's still behind that tree. I don't think she liked that. Are you coming? Oh God, I tried to dive, she sliced me up. Mm-mm, nope. Alright, we got a cure. Might seem trivial, but... Get that injury gone. Get that health increased. Whoops. Alright, she's low on health. This is the one area of the game that it really sticks to f this kind of odd fixed camera angle. Not quite sure where she is. This would be a good area to have headphones. Here she is. Five more minutes. There it is. Here I come. Yeah. All right, here we go. She's almost dead. Or almost knocked out, I should say. Whoa. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. Nope. Oh, she got me. So now I got her. Oh, God. Hold on. Don't kill me. Don't kill me. Okay, hold on. Jesus Christ. This is close. Got her. Woo-hoo-hoo! -hoo! All right. That was a close one. She's tough. All right, this I can skip. Or maybe I can't. No, this is an unskippable cutscene. But after I shoot her, I have to hold R1 to get a hidden uh, hidden scene. Take this. Keep it safe. It's our only
Now you get that for New Game Plus. Hold R1, because there's, there's going to be a hidden hidden little scene coming up. There's only room for one boss and one snake. Alright, so now that's done, i got to hold R1. And I should be able to see a ghost image of the boss and the sorrow kind of riding off together. Not sure exactly when it'll cut, so I'll kind of wait. It's a good thing I didn't skip, because I thought about it for a second there. Right around here is going to be a scene where... There they are. The boss and the sorrow. And they fade off. Looking through Snake's perspective. Alright, we got that one. Go ahead and skip this. Get the wig scene. If you grab the one on the right, you get the, the single action army for New Game Plus. Mmm, must have missed one. Sometimes, I think in that game, it could have happened somewhere on the battlefield. There's all these explosions and all, these, all this stuff running around, flying everywhere. Sometimes it's easy to... You might have accidentally killed someone. Alright, that part's done, that part's done. Good here. Well done. Yeah, we'll just save here just in case I mess something up. I don't think I did, though. Alright, so now we have two more. One at the... Okay, we can skip this, we can skip this. All right, here we go. There's going to be a hidden one here, and there's going to be a hidden one in the graveyard. And we should get a bunch of whole. We should get a whole mess of trophies if I did everything right. No, far from it. From here on out, we'll let the ending play. The ending to this game is really good. There's Sigint, paramedic, Major Zero. This is supposed to be Lyndon B. Johnson. Hey, what's up, Bunny Lake? Hey, what's up, Flame Saber? How's it going? What's up, guys? Alright, hidden... There's gonna be a hidden view of Ocelot here. Check this out. Oh, snap. There's Ocelot. I always assumed that's in Snake's head. That that's just what's on Snake's mind. But it's... I, I sometimes wonder if it's literally Ocelot there. Because he is a triple agent in this game working for the CIA. But I, I, I kind of just think that, like, as Snake's shaking his hand, he's just still... Maybe even a little bit of, like, PTSD from everything he's been through. He's just kind of envisioned. Like, as he's shaking the President of the United States' hand, he's just kind of, like, thinking about Ocelot. <laughs> Everyone wants to shake his hand. He's just like, fuck off. Yeah. Mm. A 
man who combines the qualities of a soldier and an agent. The boss's defection was a ruse set up by the U.S. government. It was all a big drama staged by Washington so they could get their hands on the philosopher's legacy. Yeah. And the boss For sure. was the star of the show. They planned it so that they could... Paramedic. That Colonel Vulcan Let's go to the movies. ...and destroy the Shagglehot at the same time. Only a legendary hero like the boss could have earned Vulcan's trust. Finding out where the philosopher's legacy was hidden was to be her greatest mission. Everything was going according to plan. But then something happened that no one could have predicted. Colonel Vulgan fired an American-made nuclear warhead at Sokolov's research facility. Khrushchev demanded that the U.S. government provide proof that it wasn't involved. They couldn't just abort the operation to steal the legacy. So the operation itself was greatly expanded and revised. The authorities in Washington knew that in order to prove its innocence, they'd have to get rid of the boss. And that one of their own didn't know that one. I know she. I know she did a does a voice of the news anchor on Family Guy. Not ever. Lori Allen. That is a fun fact, though. soldier she saw it through to the end all right we have our last uh I think she wanted you hidden uh r1 cutscene perspective coming up for the snake she eyes trophy in your memory not as a soldier but as a woman but she was forbidden to tell you herself. And that's why she told me. Snake. <laughs> History will never know what she did. No one will ever learn the truth. Her story, her debriefing, will endure only in your heart. Here it comes. Get your salutes ready. She was a real hero. She was a true hero. Oh, here it comes. There, Snake Eyes. I got it. You can see Snake all teary eyed through his perspective. Kind of a cool effect, especially for PS2. All right, now, if, if I did everything right, and I think I did, I should get the one for no alerts, no kills. Uh, I should get Markor for eating all plants, or collecting all plants and animals. Let's see. I should get the one for getting the stealth camo, because I never got spotted. No kills, no alerts. I should get a bunch. I should get a mess of trophies flooding in when the credits are over.
de Les Enfants Terribles Project. The Sons of Big Boss are Born. Oh, snap. 1972. That makes Snake about 30 in the events of Shadow Moses. Sigint, yep, is indeed the DARPA chief. Johnny. They still they still credit Paul Eiding. Well, I guess his voice is still even though there's no snake versus monkey in this version, you do get his voice if you kill Ocelot about a time paradox. So he is he is featured briefly. Even in this version. There's a hole inside my throat. All right, I'm not gonna sing anymore. I'm sorry. <laughs> Only Link's like, no, please, go on. <laughs> oh man. I'm gonna use the bathroom real quick while these credits play. You enjoy these ending credits. Uh, we'll see if we got every trophy. We should have hopefully gotten them, but um, I'll be back in just a moment. All right, I am back. Thank you guys for waiting. We're almost to the end. Uh, these credits are not skippable, so we just gotta kind of sit through them. 
Let me turn uh, this down a little bit. We got the snake eyes thing so I can close this text document. Won't be needing that anymore. We are almost at the end. Calorie meat. Balanced food. It's not a balanced food at all. I looked up calorie meat out of curiosity. It's, it measures out the calories, yes. But it's just almost nothing but sugar and saturated fat. And very little nutrition. And not much protein. It's not good for you at all. Don't ever eat calorie meat. <laughs> Unless you're just curious what it tastes like. HD remaster unit. Do we get another unit for master collection port? We get snake eater and then turned into subsistence and then that version gets turned into HD edition and then that version gets ported over to master collection. When will the madness end? I do like the segue into the classic theme. It's all good. It's all really well done. The ending, the music, it, it's all really well done. Uh, tomorrow, by the way, uh, so now we're done with Metal Gear Solid 3. We had taken a Resident Evil break to play a little Metal Gear. Tomorrow I'm going to be starting the one Resident Evil game I have not played as a Halloween special tomorrow and the next day for Halloween. And that is going to be, uh, the Resident Evil Code Veronica X. Uh, I haven't played Code Veronica at all. I'm going to be playing the X version specifically. I'm going to be playing the PS2 version for Retro Achievements. Uh, if you don't know what Retro Achievements are... You can read about him there. Um, but I'm going to be playing yes. Code Veronica so X tomorrow and the next day. So it'll be kind of the Halloween special. We'll wrap up our Metal Gear or Resident Evil break. I'm, I'm going to play that version too at some point for, yes, for achievements. Care of the boss themselves. I believe the White House will be satisfied. What the White House will be satisfied? What do you mean? Khrushchev is finished. Your time is finally That's up. Russian. Yes, the American president is relying on us to keep a lid on the whole affair. We've got him by the balls. It should make a valuable trump card in future negotiations. Yes, Chief Director, of course. I'll keep the KGB informed. Yes, it's me. The boss has accomplished her mission. The philosopher's legacy is now safely with us, in America's hands. What? With this money, yes, the philosophers can finally be revived. The film we handed the Chinese was a fake. Peking must be in an uproar right about now. I'm afraid so. Only half the money has made it back to the United States. The KGB must still have part of the legacy. Yes, the weapon has been reduced to ashes. That's right. Grozny Grad has been obliterated by the Davy Crockett we brought in as well. Yes, that was the boss's work, too. Speaking of which, I've obtained something from Granin that you might find interesting. It's a revolutionary new nuclear attack system. Oh, shit. Perhaps it might just come in handy sometime. The real Metal Gear. Fuck the Shagahod. Yes, we have John, I mean Snake, to thank for that. Khrushchev believed it as well. Yes, they bought our story. I don't think they'll be making a fuss. The secondary alert has been lifted as well. 
and the Soviets still haven't discovered my true identity. They have no idea that I've been triple-crossing them. I will continue my activities as a contact for the new government. Yes, it appears that no one knew that I was Adam. It's even his name! Of course, I am always at the CIA's disposal. Mr. Director. I think this is a master collection glitch where it doesn't fill out to widescreen. I noticed that the first time I beat this. There we go, Peace Walker. We got for no kills. Let's see what else we're gonna get. Markor rank, I got it. King of the Jungle. I think that's the Markor one. The coast is clear. We'll have to look through what each one is. Is that all of them? Alright, difficulty hard. Playtime was a little over 7 hours. We saved 44 times. That's where we kind of were very cautious. Zero continues. Zero alerts. Zero people killed. Seriously injured 40 times. Total damage 4 bars. Life medicine used 0. Uh, plants and animals, we got all 48. Meals eaten 99! And, uh, now, special item... If I had not used the Infinity Face Paint, I actually would not have gotten the Mark Hor rank. I would have gotten a different one. Forgetting for a get, I might have. I, I forget exactly what one, but forgetting the no, you no know, continues and no alerts, you get something different. I got Mark Hor specifically because I collected all forty-eight plants and animals. Should get another one popping up. New item obtained. Oh, I got the easy gun. I forgot about that. That's forgetting the Mark Hor rank. Stealth. There it is under the radar. We did good. Green face paint, you get this every time. Just for you, there we go, save, yes. This will be my file number two. Now I've got the stealth and the easy gun. <laughs> there we go. We did good. All right, we are we are done for today. I hope you guys enjoyed watching and hanging out. I appreciate the new follows. I appreciate y'all hanging out with me today. Uh, we got some new stuff. But uh, yeah, yeah, tomorrow we're going to be playing Code Veronica X. So I hope to see you guys there. Uh, let me go ahead and uh, pause the game here, get it on something quiet, and we'll do a raid on someone. We might as well get a raid going, right? Uh, live channels. Um, there's very few people um, live on my end. I'm going to raid Carcinogen SDA. Raid Carcinogen SDA. Let's give him a raid. Um, usually I'll raid small channels, but, uh, no small, no small channels I'm following are live right now. But anyway, uh, hope you guys enjoyed and I uh, will see you all tomorrow for, uh, Code Veronica.